This video is sponsored by Anchor. Hello, hello, good morning. Welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku and we are still on our way to Alaska. This is our last stop in Canada. We're in the Yukon and look at this place. This place is magical. Look at these mountains behind me. And this lake is so nice and it's glass right now. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to start fishing. In this lake there's supposed to be some pike in here. I'm sure rainbow trout and as well as arctic grayling uh, which arctic grayling or pike I've never caught so today I think I'm gonna start by targeting northern pike um, all I have is this Rapala right here this kind of jointed Rapala and the fire tiger color um, we'll give it a shot and see what happens guys see if we can catch one of those or maybe we'll just catch a trout we'll see what happens The past couple of days have been a lot of fun <laughs> just driving through Canada. Uh, we've been just seeing a ton of wildlife around here and a lot of beautiful scenery of course. We've been stopping at hot springs. We stopped at two hot springs along the way and it was super nice. If you guys want to see that it's on our second channel uh, so go check that out. And today we should be getting to Alaska a little bit later. We're only about I don't know four hours away five out yeah something like that but that's just like the edge of Alaska all right I'm just gonna troll around with this Rapala and uh, see if I get a fish so far I see no fish on the surface or any signs of fish so we got to get going because we got to get moving to Alaska uh, so that's not a long time to fish for me to try to figure out this lake I wish I had an entire day because this might take a while to figure out so let's see if we can get lucky if you're wondering what this is this is a mosquito net the mosquitoes here are insane Never seen so many mosquitoes before. But on the water, it's not bad. There's not many. Well, two hours is almost up. I spent a lot of time just flying the drone. It's just so, so beautiful out here. No fish. Um, honestly, I haven't been fishing too much. <laughs> just, just taken away, just taken away by all this beauty. Well guys, I'm gonna start heading in, but uh, if you guys know how to fish for Northern Pike, let me know in the comments. What do you guys do? Do you troll like this? What kind of lures do you use? let me know because uh i mean we'd be we're gonna be up here 
in you know Alaska for a while, so uh, I like to get on some pike. Whew. Oh, oh, oh! Holy crap! Right when I stopped recording, got a fish on. Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh no way! No, oh, it just came off. Did it? Ah, oh, it just came off. Da! Ah! Oh! Oh my god, I just had a fish on! I just had a fish on! Right when I was saying that, let me know how in the comments, blah blah blah. I stopped recording, and then bam! But something's wrong with this reel. Oh man, this drag. I don't know what's wrong with this reel, man. The drag, it, it won't set. Drag's way too loose. And I have it buttoned down all the way. Both, both drags. Oh, man. We had a fish on. All right. Why don't we do that troll again? Let's go back to that same area. Let's try that again. You know what, I'm gonna change I'm gonna swap the rods because I don't wanna mess with that uh, broken reel. I don't know why that drag won't set, but uh, we'll go with this one. Good thing I have a second rod. And just take this. So I just, I switched to um, the same color pattern, but a little bit deeper, deeper diver. Um, and that one it worked. It worked, guys. I don't know if that was a pike or not, but could have been. Let's hope we get a fish. It's not over. It's not over. Oh, there we go. Fish on. Same spot. Yeah! Fish on. Same, same exact area. Doesn't feel too big. Feels kind of small. Let's see what it is here. Oh. Oh. My, what is that? Maybe a pipe? I don't know what that is. Let's see. Oh! Oh, I think it might be a... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Might be a, um... Brook trout, or, or actually... Oh! Is that a lake trout? It might be a lake trout. Got him! We got a fish! We got a fish! What is this? Let's check him out. Let's check him out. Pretty sure, yeah, that's a lake trout right there. Uh, we're actually not allowed to keep lake trout in this lake specifically, so uh, we gotta release them. We got a fish though. That's pretty cool. I think he's ready to go. There he goes. Whoa! Sick! That was pretty cool. I wish it was a pike, but that was pretty cool. Lake trout, those fish get big. Those I caught one of those in uh, Colorado ice fishing and that thing was massive but yeah those get a lot bigger than that um yeah unfortunately we can't keep those at this lake Woo! let's try that again then we can get something else oh 
I just saw fish surface. Maybe I should switch back to the surface lure. This one's probably diving at, I don't know, six feet deep, but one hit on the surface right here. Probably eating flies and stuff off the surface. Oh, fish on. Huh? Is that a fish? Oh my God. My rod just, whew. it might've just snagged the bottom a little bit there. Oh, it's 10, 15. I should be, should be getting back to the van, but there's fish around. It's hard to go back. All right, I'm just gonna do one more lap and we'll hit him. There's one other boat out here and they just got a, they just got something nice. Looks like a good fish. They've been, it's been fighting it for a couple minutes. But they're anchored down and they're just using bobbers, looks like. I guess they just use bait. And they still find it. I'm gonna ask them. What is it? What is it? What, what is that fish? Nope. No reply. Fly fisherman. Rain's coming. Rain's coming. I can hear it. Raining on the lake. It's heavy. <laughs> Come on, let's get back. Let's get back and set up our tarp so we have some shelter from the rain. Well, guys, we made it to Alaska. We crossed the border from Canada to Alaska, and we're just about a couple hours into Alaska. We just passed a town called Toke um, a little while ago, and now we are at this campsite. We got the fire going. Um, free campsite by the way and I was thinking driving along the way it was so just so beautiful just everything all the scenery was absolutely amazing and really driving just it doesn't get tiring just because the scenery is amazing if you ever have a chance to drive to Alaska I highly recommend it take that great Amer uh, great Alaskan highway and geez whew, it's so nice and when I was driving, I was thinking those guys on the lake, those two fly fishermen, I was like, what? I was so confused at why they ignored me. <laughs> they were like blatantly ignored me, but whatever. I just wanted to know what fish it was. But... They heard you from across the lake, so I know they heard you. <laughs> <laughs> no, they heard me for sure. We were the only ones on the lake. They were 30 feet from me. Um, anyways, we're, we don't have any fish since we had to release the lake trout and um, we need dinner. So I just picked up some, uh, some steak. So we're gonna make some steak and potatoes for dinner. Little side of coleslaw as well. So we got the fire going. We have our rain protector, just in case it starts coming down on us because there are plenty of rain clouds up in the sky. But before we do that, a little word for my sponsor for today. Today's video is sponsored by Anchor and we are presenting the Anchor 757 Powerhouse. With 1500 watts of output power and 1229 watt hour capacity. It is powered by premium lithium batteries, which last much longer than your average lead acid. This Anchor Powerhouse has the most advanced long lasting batteries with premium lithium batteries. It will remain in healthy state even after 3000 complete charges with six times longer battery lifespan than the industry average. If you know anything about batteries, you know that lithium ion is much more superior than the lead acid. Lithium lasts much longer, has a bigger lifespan, and you can run the charge all the way down 
without damaging the battery. With HyperFlash technology, Anchor 757 powerhouse recharges from 0% to 80% in just one hour. And what I do when I'm on the road, on this powerhouse, on the back of it, it has a plug and you can plug directly into your car socket. And while you drive, you can be recharging your battery bank, just like that. And with that same socket, you can also get solar panels for extra power when you're just stationary. With 1500 watts of output power, some of the home appliances that can be charged with this battery bank includes things like microwave, uh, small fridges, fans, coffee makers, and many more. Whether you keep your powerhouse at home or on the road, it acts as a backup generator. So whenever you run out of power, in our case, in our van, if we're stationary and if it's been cloudy for a long time, we run low on power. So this guy comes in handy every time. Anchor also has smaller power stations with the same long lasting battery, but with smaller capacity. So if you need something a little bit more compact, Anchor has that as well. Say if you're just starting to build out your own van or anything like that and you don't have the budget for a full-on electrical setup, this is a great uh, alternative because it can power anything from your lights to your computer to your fridge. So this is perfect. Anchor even gives you a five-year guarantee for a peace of mind. So if you want your own Anchor powerhouse, click the link in the description for a discount and go get yours now thank you anchor for sponsoring this video now let's cook our steak all right guys now we are ready to cook make sure you guys grab an outdoor chef life apron from outdoorcheflife.com handmade wax canvas really nice let's get it going all right first got some leftover corn so we're gonna make some corn chutney for the steak a little sauce so I have a we have a blender in the van too just a little just a little uh, magic bullet one of those start with a few garlic a little bit of shallots we have the corn and I'm just gonna put some a uh, little corn juice can go in there too Ooh, that's a lot maybe that's too much corn bring back some corn <laughs> we have these cool bees wrap they call it it's like a, a saran wrap plastic wrap uh, replacement pretty good more eco-friendly you know and we have some of these chives too that are left from uh, the garden throw those in there I'm gonna go with the chive flour boom a couple of those just get these ends too might as well we also have the cilantro that we got to use up so we'll put some of that in there and that should do throw that in there we got a lemon squeeze that bad boy in there not the juicy lemon i think half is enough a little salt a little pepper and a little olive oil and we'll blend this up and we'll go in the van really quick. I think that should be good. Next, we're gonna make a little coleslaw. Got some cabbage here. And let's see, we're gonna put some shallots. Shallots. I have some Thai chilies. Just two Thai chilies. Thai chili action. And we're gonna put the corn as well. So we have the corn. We're gonna use it up. Yeah, let's go for it. You know what? Might as well use up these chives too, huh? Chives in. A little salt and pepper. A little cube, just a little bit. We don't want it too mayo -y. Yeah, I think that's enough. We'll, we'll, we'll taste it and see how it goes. And lemon juice. 
I think we'll need a little bit more citrus, so I got a lime here. Yes. Mm. Oh yeah, this is the best coleslaw I've ever made. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's really, it's like pretty spicy. Nice and sweet from the corn. Mm. Mm. That's really good, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was like a bunch of leftovers. <laughs> Alright, cool. Do this recipe. Remember this one. And we're just going to make a little bit of potatoes because we don't need the extra carbs. <laughs> so all we've been doing is driving. Not, no exercising. So, uh, yeah. I guess I can do this. My uh, cherry tomato trick with the, uh, with the corn. Oh. With corn, did I say corn? Yeah, he did say corn. <laughs> With potatoes. I'm gonna some, cut some garlic. Is that like a string of ants or what? A couple more garlic cloves. Okay, we have this nice thick cut of New York steak. Um, I think I'm gonna trim off just a tiny bit of this fat. Well, we'll just cut this bad boy in half. Have some nice thick one inch steaks. There we go. Most of this wood is so wet, but we're making it work. Remember the, the fat cap that I took off the steak? Gonna season the pan with that. I'm gonna add a little bit more oil. Ah, hot. A little salt. A little pepper. I'll put a few more pieces of garlic in there, some whole cloves. Add a little bit of butter. All right, it's steak time. Put a little oil on here. Generous amount of salt. This is a really thick piece. Season the other side as well. All right, got our steaks. Alright, I think these steaks have rested enough. Let's slice into them, plate, and we can eat. Not red, but it's a nice medium. This guy 
It's juicy. Potatoes. This right here, the sauce. I'm just gonna use this fork so we don't dirty a, an extra utensil. Finish it off with a little Alaskan sea salt. We're done. That's it, guys. A little coleslaw, a little steak, a little potatoes. Simple dinner, but delicious. Today I have a dark beer, Old English Ale. <sighs> Looks good. Lemon, lavender, rattler. We snuck <laughs> some uh, beer from Canada. <laughs> Cheers. Jeez. I'm staying my net. Oh, dang, that's good. Hmm. Try this, I think you'll like that too. Mm. Oh yeah. Shout out Yukon Brewing. Did pretty a good, good job. Mine's pretty sweet. I don't really drink much dark beer, but it's really good. Yeah, I like yours. Maybe I'll hit it on the way down again. Mm -hmm. All right. Potato. <laughs> good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Potatoes. I just think I caught a fly in my net. <laughs> <laughs> it was like stuck for a little bit. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Coleslaw. So I made of the random bits we have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. I get to finally go grocery shopping tomorrow. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got to get out of here, hit a town, get some groceries. I think actually we're going to try to make it to Anchorage tomorrow. Mm. And in a couple of days, maybe three days, we have starting up a, a trip, a five-day trip with our subscribers with you guys i invited everybody on youtube and instagram and whoever signed up will be showing up i think it's 12 of them and uh yeah we're going to be having fun in alaska we're going to be fishing on a boat fishing in a river we're going to be doing the catch and cook whole thing and hopefully i can document all of that and post it on youtube and you guys should be seeing that next week so stay tuned for that should be a lot of fun hanging out with you guys uh some of you guys <laughs> um yeah thank you for watching another taco tuesday outdoor chef life thank you very much always appreciate it have a good night Peace. it's like 9 p.m <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah believe it or not it's 9 p.m right now <laughs>